And just like that, Sam Smith seems to be joining season two of the Sex and the City spinoff. The 30-year-old unholy singer shared a collaboration post to his Instagram on Wednesday with the HBO hit series Instagram, having some fun on set in New York City. Captioning the post, up to something unholy on set. Sam isn't the only high-profile guest star on the upcoming season of In Just Like That. Last month, showrunner Sarah Jessica Parker and the series Instagram shared a few snaps of her character Carrie, strolling hand-in-hand hand down the middle of the street in New York City with her ex, Aiden, who is played by John Corbett, with the caption reading, Shh, don't tell anyone. Things got a little spicier in the streets a few weeks later when more photos surfaced on and Just Like That's Instagram of Carrie and Aiden kissing before hugging and laughing with each other, penning in the caption, and just like that, Carrie is back on her tiptoes. Though it's still unclear what's in store for the latest chapter of Carrie and Aiden's love story, his return to the franchise has been hinted at since 2021. That year, John told the New York Post that he planned to appear in multiple episodes, though he went on to be absent from the whole first season. The fans seem ready for Aiden and season two. And just like that took years to get off the ground. At the show's red carpet premiere in December 2021, SJP shared with Access Hollywood how she and her Sex and the City family decided it was finally the right time to check back in with Carrie and her crew. Um, I don't know so much that we were looking at it as, you know, clever or strategic timing, I think. You know, when we decided to end the show, it was about where we are. Oh, oh my God. Oh Beautiful. God. Oh my God, you look gorgeous. Holy moly. Um, wow. Good luck it's concentrating really now. Um, it just felt like I, I, Michael and I started talking sort of in the early months of that that spring lockdown and having conversations about what we were thinking about and it became abundantly clear fairly quickly that this is what we were thinking about. But obviously that's a very easy theoretical. The actual practice, you know, the endeavor is much more complicated. Of course, we had to reach out to Cynthia and Kristen and Chris and Willie and Mario and then talk about how that family would grow. So I think it was more so we were excited about figuring out learning where they had been who they were, how they had changed, how they had stayed the same, what their life looked like now, how had their families grown, how had their environment sh shrunk, frankly, or who were they post-pandemic and post a city that had suffered? You know, where did that leave them? And how do big events affect people? And how mature are they? And how, how immature are they still? And, and that was really exciting to us. And obviously, um, you know, people at this particular age, their lives don't end. They are pursuing on often new chapters and things that are very adventurous and very exciting and risky and interesting and filled with possibilities of disappointment and triumph and all of it was there and we had Michael Patrick King and then eventually an extraordinary writing room and um, an extraordinary group of new people who were willing to, to join us.